what's up, it's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Finland's Cadavic Incubator Sermons of the Devouring Dead Killer Killer Death Grind from Finland. Gore soaked the way it should be. This is awesome, awesome stuff on Hell's Headbangers. Great artwork. Killer fucking death grind, very gore soaked. I love it. Get into it. And uh, we're gonna travel to Europe for this next release, but real quick, I got a Walkman. Yes. And it was made kind of recently. It was made in uh, 2012. So, sick. <laughs> I'm stoked that. That's all I can say about it. This is the new uh, iPod 69. It's pretty gnarly. Has a lot of high tech features like no eject button. Good stuff. But today I want to talk about Sweden's Cold Worker and their debut 2006 album on Relapse Records The Contaminated Void. Now, there's amazing artwork here, so we're going to talk about the artwork before I get into this. This is ex-members of Nauseam. Now, if you know Nauseam, they're one of the best grindcore bands probably ever. Like, I'm not joking at all. Just listen to fucking Shift, and you'll be like, what the fuck? This is insane. But sadly, the Tsunami ended Nauseam. It sucked. I mean, they did a couple of reunions with, like, different vocalists, but just, it, it was a bummer, and this was, you know, their drummer's answer to, I guess, uh, Masato's death. Uh, and again, um, I, I forget all the details. It's been a very long time. I used to be a big Nauseam fan. And was legit upset when he passed away, but I just, I, for some reason, I'm drawing a blank with his name. Like, I should have, like, wrote it down or something. I'm sure it's probably in the thank you sheet on here, but he was one of the best guitar and vocalists in the game. Well, it looks like a bath is in that face. But, anyways, uh, great great art design here even though I think it looks like shit like just it's kind of corny it's just really really well done like I'm sure the vinyl's great as well like to me that's sick like but it just looks kind of shitty with all this stuff behind it trying way too hard to be like crusty and you know punk riddled which this is totally not this is not even a grind release. This is more or less, uh, Nauseam does death metal, but just not that good. This right here is 39 minutes of complete mediocrity. I'm sorry, but that's what it is. Coming from members of Nauseam, I remember being furious when I heard this. Every song sounds exactly the fucking same. And it's not because nauseum has gone and I was like going through the grieving process of not having one of my favorite bands at the time around anymore. I really thought this just fucking sucked. So I figured, you know what, I'll give it an ample amount of time and let's play it again. So last night... I played through this twice. Very painfully played through this twice. Again, this was around that time period where Relapse was just kind of signing anyone. Like, no offense to my boy Eli, but like Rumpelstiltskin Grinder only got signed because Eli worked at Relapse. I mean, they recorded where a band of mine recorded and if you listen to uh, like Orange or Black Attack off their first record and listen to the sound quality, you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. And also, just look at the artwork. It's obviously tongue-in-cheek, 
thrash metal humor, but Marvel Stillskin Grinder, I, I always thought was pretty good and were really good live with Eli. And you had Matt Moore from Absu in the band as well, so, I mean, that was always good. And they were fun to play with, but Cold Worker really is not too fun here. Like, yeah, I do like the death metal sound on here. It's very, very Swedish, but also at the same time, it sounds a hell of a lot like Morbid Angel Domination. And I know that's kind of weird, but, like, that's what this really, really sounds like. The contaminated void has been contaminated with mediocrity. And just that goes to show exactly what I'm talking about. No offense to fans of Morbid Angel Domination, but compared to, like, Altars of Madness, Covenant, come on. But here's some more of that just... To me, trying too hard to be punk, like, artwork. And you have 14 tracks of just, you know, like I said, kind of just mediocre death metal. There's your band photo. You have to have a Nihilist t-shirt on. I mean, come on, you're from Sweden. And there is also tons of, like, Entombed and like nihilist riffs on here alongside the Americanized death metal sound that this record has as well. It has been contaminated with multiple different influences. And that's not a bad thing. Like I understand not wanting to make another Nalsum record without your main guy. And the fact that he died very tragically and very young on fucking vacation, like, that whole tsunami situation, I, I'll never forget how just surreal that footage is. Like, same thing with the Japanese tsunami, it's just crazy, crazy how insanely strong and gnarly Mother Nature can really be. But, this is seriously, like, imagine Morbid Angel, like, during the Domination era, but, like, playing four times as fast. Which might sound very, like, cool to you, but trust me, it ends up being kind of just mediocre, and I feel like somebody paid way more attention to this amazing art on the inside here. Just the way it's all put together like that, how everything, you know, falls in the in the like pieces i think that's sick but still i feel like the actual illustrations are trying a bit too hard it's these cutouts that make the art design i think great and the lyrics are all right i mean they fit in a lot of like it's very very quick vocally which is good it's probably one of the highlights of this album it's the vocal delivery but every song sounds the same, and like, social decay in me, I strive for inner peace of mind, but yield to sicker needs. I don't know. It's whatever, but here's another sick, like, one of those, uh, I feel like I'm like playing with a kid's book, though, like, you know? Like, there's a sick skull, but, you know, it looks sicker like that, but... Musically, it, it just, it's a bummer, like, A Custom Made Hell's a good song, so it's Return to Ashes, but can I really tell the difference between that and, like, the first track? Not really, but, like, I did write down a little note that there were some riffs on those tracks that stood out above the rest here, and it's the same thing, like, when I reviewed Gadget. There was a void to be filled after Nauseam, sadly, left us. And all these bands were trying to fill it, but, um, you know, I'm really glad that if, at first Nauseam didn't go straight for, you know, making an album, but I'm pretty sure they eventually did. I just forget. I remember Grind Finale came out with, like, every bonus track ever and a bunch of other stuff but 
I do remember they did a reunion and were playing shows, but I'm not sure if they re recorded anything or not. I completely forget. I don't know who this politician is. I thought it was Truman. It actually looks like Truman. So, it might be, but I don't know what <laughs> Harry Truman has to do with Sweden, but... Yeah, like I said, this stuff's cool, but I don't know. The art direction has more thought than the music, which is not a good thing. But, I mean, if you're a fan of, like, Heartwork Era Carcass guitar solos, At The Gates, like, The Red Sky is With Us, like, style of guitar solos, and even Slaughter Soul at War With Reality now, like, there's some of those riffs on here, and there's even some entombed riffs, some HM2 pedal use, and just that kind of buzzsaw, sick guitar tone, but it's not used to its, like, the way it should be on a record like this. Coming from Sweden, I expect that buzzsaw guitar sound to cut through mostly everything, and to sound filthy, not polished. That's the word I was really looking for with Cold Worker, the contaminated void, is not just mediocre, but just, you know what, blah. That, that's all I can really say about this death metal record, is blah. Cold Worker, they broke up in 2013, and, uh... Yeah, I don't even know if Relapse even knows that they're still a band or not. Because, uh, at first, Relapse, you know, were making a big deal. Like, Nalsum's new band, you know. Except they were dropping the Nalsum name so hard. And I understood why. I mean, hell, you're trying to get people to buy this album with, like, 14 of the same songs on it. <laughs> it's just kind of a bummer. But the guitar solos on here do have a really sick, melodic, carcass heartwork style vibe. It's pretty cool. And, yeah. Like I said, there's some Morbid Angel riffing on here, but this is pretty much, when it comes down to it, a Swedish Misery Index. So, if you're a fan of Misery Index, but just not as good, then maybe Cold Workers for you, but it's definitely worth a listen. Especially, again, if you are new to extreme music. This is a great gateway into Relapse Records catalog, Relapse Records history, and just, you know, if you're new to death metal, you might like this. But if, you know, you know that there's other bands out there that are fucking a million times better than this whole entire polished turd. I'm sorry to call this a polished turd, but... That's what it kinda is. It's very, very, very well produced. And to me, that's this record's downfall. This should sound filthy, and that buzzsaw guitar should fucking cut through you like goddamn Leatherface or something gnarly like that, but it doesn't. It just falls fucking short. And that's a bummer, but if you like mediocre, boring death metal where every track sounds the same, Get in the Cold Worker, the Contaminated Void on Relapse Records, and you'll probably have all of your needs filled. But, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm gonna go uh, put some batteries in my new iPod, and uh, yeah, probably smoke a bowl. And yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good Friday. Hills! <laughs>